Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I am fired up today. Um, I can't tell you, or I can tell you, I guess. I have never worked so hard as a dealer to acquire a new, exciting brand built by a brand new RV manufacturer than I have with Ember. And I gotta tell you, hats off to the Ember team. Um, the amount of phone calls, the dealer visit we did down in Indiana in September, the conversations, all of those things uh, is refreshing to me as a dealer um, that they weren't just looking for any dealer to represent their brand new product in the Ember Overland series that I'm gonna shoot a video on here. But I can tell you friends that I am fired up. This bit has been months and months of waiting. Um, the anticipation to be able to get the product north of the border into Canada. We are the very first dealer partner for Ember in all of Canada and we are representing the product in all of Western Canada. And I am absolutely thrilled today to be able to get into this product. If you've watched any of my videos, friends, I go deep on product. This isn't gonna be a, a nice floor plan video, um, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes. We are gonna go deep on this product. And I can tell you, friends, that this particular product is special. If I was to sum up a word uh, to describe Ember, that word is precision. Precision in the way that they manufacture their products. Precision in the way and the features and the componentry that they have selected to put onto their products. And I gotta tell you friends, customer service, it's lacking in a lot of areas, I would say in the RV industry and the way the product is manufactured. There's been a lot of product showing up at dealers lots that we're hearing from a lot of our buyers or customers um, that they're just not put together real well. And I'm telling you friends that this particular product is absolutely tight. The manufacturing processes that they've put in place at Ember from day one um, has delivered a cutting edge product. And I'm telling you friends, this particular, this particular trailer has features that you will not find on any other travel trailer in the industry today. And we're gonna get into that. And a lot of the videos that are on YouTube right now about this product, they're missing some things and we're gonna press in on it. Uh, but again, I know I'm standing in this one spot and you guys wanna jump into it, but this video is going to go deep. Also, as a dealership, customer service. I just got off the phone call, I picked up the phone, called Chris Barth, their VP of the company, one of the founders, answered the call. Called him yesterday, had some questions, he answered the call. We don't get that with other RV manufacturers. I'm telling you, the, this company is different and they're starting it from the ground level up and they're building that uh, culture into their company, the people they're hiring um, and the products that they're producing. So we're gonna get into this. The Ember Overland, this is the 190 MDB, this is a bunk model, okay? This is not your regular travel trailer. This is an adventure trailer, okay? I tell customers often that RVs, you know, when you're looking at them, they all pretty much do the same thing. The Ember here will do the same thing as a lot of other trailers in the industry. But one of the major differences is that it will take you farther. It will take you farther longer. And the quality of the product and the materials they've chosen to put into this uh, tra trailer, friends, it's going to last longer. Like the value, if there is a value add or a value statement we wanted to make on this trailer, which we are going to make a lot of them, um, this particular trailer is packed full of value and feature content and new technology. So again, we're going to jump into it. Um, we're going to talk about the hull of this trailer because it's something special. I'm kind of calling it, and I don't know if there's a marketing term that Ember's come up for yet, but this is a fully laminated exterior hull, which is your side wall, your front wall right here with the big Ember logo, that upper panel, you see that skylight up on the roof, that's called your stargazer skylight, and then your roof panel is fully laminated. It's a panel construction. And one of the things, like I've been doing this a long time, all right, I've been working in the RV industry since I was 13 years old and I've seen so many types of builds of, of, of product and there's a conventional way of building a trailer. This is not conventional, but it makes so much sense. 
one of the beautiful things about this particular product, friends, is that if you get into a situation, because this is a fully laminated panel construction, meaning your walls, your roof, your floor, all the things I've mentioned, if let's say you're camping in that backwoods, outdoor, off-road area and a tree branch comes down and you damage the, one of the exterior panels on the outside wall of your trailer, they can literally unbolt or unscrew the exoskeleton. Yes, I just said exoskeleton. We're gonna get into that. And they can remove and replace. So if you were to damage this fully laminated composite built product uh, by removing the exoskeleton, you can replace it. We can order that panel right there from Ember out of their lamination facility. They ship it up to us as a dealership. We put that panel back in, put the exoskeleton back on, and you're back on the road camp and away you go. We're not having to rebuild your entire trailer. And in a lot of cases, the conventional built products in the industry, if you have a tree branch fall on it, in a lot of cases, they're just writing your trailer off right? Well, you've got a lot of money and investment and sometimes what an insurance company is willing to pay you back isn't necessarily what you have into the trailer. And so the beautiful thing about a product like this, friends, is that we can repair it if you run into a situation uh, where we got to replace one of those laminated panels, we can handle it. No problem. The other thing um, about these fiberglass panels, friends, there's no wood in this um, exterior of the trailer whatsoever. The floor does not have wood. The, the panel construction, the laminated panels have zero wood. So it's a laminated sidewall with fiberglass exterior bonded to an Asdale, which is a composite material. No wicking worries whatsoever. So if you have you know, moisture buildup, it's not gonna absorb into that sidewall and cause delamination. Your inner wall panel is Asdale as well. So it's lighter weight. It has a higher R value insulation qualities, um, but they're putting the product in the sidewall to, to prevent where, again, in our industry has been a bit of a stain in the industry, delamination, moisture intrusion, all of those things. So Ember's putting the right products into the hull of the trailer to give you that one, two, three warranty that they offer, uh, which we'll get into a little bit. But yeah, three year structural warranty on this product. I say it with some of our other, with one of our other brands, they built the product to support their warranty, but these guys are going so much more beyond. The other thing is the floor on this particular uh, product, friends. It is a fully laminated, it's, uh, it's called Transcore. It's got a fiberglass top, a fiberglass bottom, and the innards of the, the, the paneling, the, the insulation, if you will, or the structure within it has unbelievable uh, screw retention, and that's why Ember went with it. Um, a lot of composite materials in the industry, friends, don't necessarily have great screw retention, and that's why we still see some Luon used in the sidewall panels and those sorts of things in the industry, but the Transcore floor is built by um, an outside company built to exact specifications for Ember, um, but one of the things I wanna point out to that's really, really neat, and I'm just gonna shoot up underneath the trailer about that, and it's a little dirty right here, but this panel right here, that's fiberglass right there. Like that's just like the outside wall of the trailer. Okay, when you look under the underbelly of the trailer on a, most trailers in the industry, often because they have wood, uh, wood decking, they use a product called Darko, uh, which is a woven fabric. Well, the issue with that is that if that shreds um, or becomes exposed, the, the wood floor, that's where you can get moisture intrusion, moisture damage, all those sorts of things. There is no worry. Like when you walk on the inside of this trailer, um, there is no deflection in your, underneath your feet. Like there's no flexing, there's no stressing. It is unbelievably strong. So, and that, and that ties into the overall build of the trailer, which again, we're gonna go a lot deeper on with this, but what the goal is with an adventure style trailer, because you have the opportunity to take this off the beaten path, you're gonna be going over terrain and into areas where you have the option to, um, where you need to have a structurally sound trailer where your trailer isn't stressing and binding. And I think Ember has absolutely nailed that because the goal with the build and having a very rigid structure of a house built on top of your chassis, and again, we're gonna get into that chassis a little bit, is you want the suspension to work. You don't want the, the house of your trailer to be part of the, of, of the suspension, so to speak. Meaning, if you're going over a bump, you don't want that trailer to deflect in any way because Again, it could knock a slide out, out of alignment. It could mess up your cupboards on the inside of the trailer. It just has adverse effects. 
with a way that they've engineered this Ember product, friends, is to ensure that the suspension does the job it is intended to do where you are going to be taking it, okay? Eliminating potential concerns with the inside of the trailer. I know I'm real long-winded on that and I'm talking and I'm talking, but I'm telling you friends, this trailer is different and if you're gonna be spending the kind of money that these trailers uh, go for, you need to know about this, all right? Now, you've got the lamination, you've got the transcore floor, the chances of delamination, moisture intrusion are greatly, greatly reduced on this product, okay? Now, one of the coolest things that I find with this trailer, friends, is the exoskeleton. Most of the trailers in the industry use very thin, corner moldings for aluminum um, because they're not putting, being put in the rigors um, that this type of product may be put through depending on where you're going camping of course. But the gauge of thickness of the exoskeleton on this is unbelievable. Like you couldn't take this in your hands and bend it, okay, by itself. Whereas a corner molding on most of your RVs, if you had that in your hand by itself, you could easily bend it, okay, which again, you get more deflection in your trailer and movement and flexing and stressing, okay? But when you look at the amount of fasteners that they're using to tie this panel construction together, this laminated panel construction, um, all the way up to the top, like every corner of this trailer has an, the exoskeleton, which is fa absolutely fantastic. The other thing that I absolutely love, and I want to zero in on it, and I can do that right now. It has, it, it locks in. It's not, they're not just relying on the screws to create the strength and the structure and holding it all together. You see that groove right underneath that Ember uh, logo, which I, I, I believe is laser cut into that piece, just like the, 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 um, the look and the way that they've done their marketing, so to speak, and the brand, branding of the trailer is absolutely fantastic. But when you look underneath that ember, there's that groove. And so the piece that runs down the side, what is back away there? I don't know if I can get up to show you that up there, but that locks in to the exoskeleton, creating and just locking in, uh, I don't even know how, this is the first video I've shot on it, so forgive me if I'm, if I'm stumbling and bumbling on, the, on, on this video, um, but it is literally locking in the structure on the outside of the trailer. Um, I wanna show this to you as well. And this is where the precision comes in. This, this tire right above it has a steel wheel well, but I just wanna show you, again, tying into the structure, right above that screw, a little groove, locking in the structure on the trailer, these little grooves tying everything together. What does that do? Well, it makes sure that this piece, when it goes on, it goes on proper, but I believe it actually ties in the structure of the trailer to eliminate the flexing and stressing that you're gonna maybe see or feel in a regular trailer. Look at the grooves, they're locking everything in. It's absolutely fantastic. These things jumped out at me instantly when we first started to land these trailers. We've got three on the ground here in Leduc, Alberta, and I am absolutely thrilled to be able to take you through this. Like the thought, again, the precision that they've put into this trailer is absolutely fantastic, okay? Um, the other thing that you've got uh, beyond the, the exoskeleton is the chassis, super, super special. So this is a tubular steel chassis. Now the tubular steel chassis is not a new thing to the industry, but it hasn't been around in a big way on a trailer for a long time, okay? Ember was very uh, intentional with making sure, again, tying in from the chassis up through the hull of the trailer to make sure that the, the trailer stays absolutely rigid, okay? And having a box style chassis, um, one of our Canadian built products of the past, Travel Air built in Red Deer, Alberta, where I grew up, they used a box style chassis. The only other manufacturer that I'm aware that truly uses a box style chassis in a big way is Mobile Suites on their big massive fifth wheels. So to have a tubular style chassis, very important. A lot of manufacturers are using an I-beam rail, okay? Now, the nice thing about having a box style chassis is that outrigger right there is fully welded and um, it just welds on real, really easy. You're not having to notch in on your I-beam to have that outrigger mounted on there. So again, it's tubular style chassis, exoskeleton, fully composite, laminated, 
panel construction on this particular trailer. They're absolutely doing a phenomenal job. Now, I know I just backed up here, but one thing to touch on, which it makes this trailer real special, is they're using the Kurt independent trailing arm suspension system. So you've got a coil, you've got those yellow bushings in there which prevent bottoming out, but you'll notice there's actually no axle on this trailer which gives you unbelievable clearance, which again ties into that overland off-road experience that you're gonna have uh, when using this trailer that if you're going over you know, the sand dunes or if you gotta go over something that could get in underneath the trailer where a conventional trailer uh, where the axle would get hung up on or you'd get high centered they're really putting on that system to help prevent that from happening which is unbelievable i'm hearing wonderful reviews from the drivers that are hauling these um, that they are unbelievably stable and very very smooth uh, to tow but you'll notice like just the thick the thickness of the the uh, the steel on here this little doodad here this is allows you to adjust the camber and the alignment of the tire as well. So you have that flexibility also. You know, most trailers are using a leaf spring suspension, uh, which is decent. Uh, we also see the torsion axle, which basically is a, and uh, in, gives you kind of an independent suspension, but it's got rubber, uh, um, it's kind of a rubberized axle where you've got these shafts going down the middle of the, the axle and that actually can create a little bit of sway in my experience in towing those types of trailers with this particular product, very rigid, but soft enough to allow for that independent suspension for where you're going and allowing the trailer to stay as level as possible. There's some really cool videos that Kurt has done to describe this particular product, um, but really, really cool upgraded suspension on this particular trail. You've got nitrogen filled gas uh, shocks there as well. You see them side by side, uh, tying everything in. So we're gonna give, give uh, more detail on it. One thing to say on this video, friends, I should have said this at the beginning, I don't edit. There's no script to this video. I'm just free flowing it right from the heart. So again, I appreciate if I go on a rant or I ramble a little bit, please forgive me for that um, because we wanna be as real as possible on this product for you. So uh, again, you've got the, the Wrangler, Goodyear Wrangler, LT22575 R16 tire, very nice tire. What's cool about that is if you are doing, you know, colder weather ty uh, type travel, it's a little icier, you know, when that, the brakes get applied on the trailer, they're just gonna help slow down the overall unit uh, going down the highway a little bit better. Um, you know, the slippage that you might deal with if you're, if you're towing the trailer um, in rainy conditions out in the West Country someplace, you know, the, tire isn't gonna, the trailer isn't going to slide around um, like you would with a regular uh, trailer tire, uh, if you will. Now, one thing to say, um, you do have the ability to do a full wheel bearing repack on this uh, hub, right in your driveway, never adjust brakes, and again, fantastic clearance. Um, the other thing, they have a parking brake. How ingenious. It just bolts right to the side of that tubular chassis that you've got there. This arm comes out, trust me, it doesn't stick out to bang your knees. This is just a snipe bar to pull, the, pull it over and lock it in. But one of the things you might experience if you're off-road or overland camping is you might be camping in an area where you maybe don't have a completely level place to park the trailer. So one of the things you'll have to do is roll the tires up onto blocks to get the trailer as level as possible. Well, sometimes it makes it difficult to block your tire um, to prevent rolling. And so this is an unbelievable idea. I absolutely love it. It's fully welded on. Um, and you just slide this over and it, it locks in the tire. There's one on the other side as well. And it will prevent, you know, or help reduce some of the shimmying you may feel in the trailer. Also from a security perspective, if you are, let's say you got the trailer parked in a storage compound someplace, or you're in an area where you think somebody might nab your trailer, um, you can put a lock on this and the trailer ain't going nowhere. So really cool idea, absolutely love it. And uh, comes standard on all of the Ember Overland trailers. So um, talked a lot about the, the build already. Um, again, we're gonna refine the videos a little bit as we go, as we figure out how to best explain this. But again, the first video on this Ember Overland trailer. Again, if you're overland camping, you know, table space might, might not be um, 
something that you have readily available. So one of the things I, I really like that they've done is they've created little workbenches and, and table areas for you. You know, most of the campgrounds you'll go to up here in Alberta, a lot of them, they have picnic tables at them. Well, if you're random camping out in the West Country, uh, you have to bring your own table space. So what's cool is Ember's done these flip down baggage doors. The, the baggage doors are very, very thick. All right, fiberglass exterior. Um, they put the straps on them. You can unhook them to fold them right down if you, if you want, but it becomes a nice little workbench for you. Uh, the other thing over here on your outdoor kitchen on this 190 MDB, the uh, uh, griddle will slide out of the way. Uh, unbelievable cooking area, by the way. We're seeing the capital griddle on a lot of the, uh, the RVs now just a better cooking appliance. But you've got a nice little workbench here for you know, prepping your food, cooking it up, or you can slide this out of the way. You know, If you're a fisherman and you wanna get out to that special lake, but you gotta go down the bumpy trail to get to it, and you wanna fillet your fish after going fishing for the day, perfect work area to do that at. And you do have the, uh, the outdoor fridge. Cool thing that they've done, Ember Lights, kind of ties into their name, uh, or Amber Light. Um, but that's a, a little light switch there. You've got one in your bathroom. You've got one at your entryway. So they become little night lights uh, inside the trailer for at night. You're not turning on a big br uh, blinding light, uh, which is really, really cool. So um, again, true to form, A&E, power awning, fully adjustable. Um, a lot of the manufacturers have gone away from the A&E awning. It's a little more expensive, but the functionality is far better, I find and the adjustment that you can do to this awning to allow for water runoff is far superior. What's really cool is that LED light strip that you see on right there. You got a dimmer switch for it right at your uh, entry door. So you can dim that light. You also have a dimmer switch on your main cabin lights as well. So if you wanna create that really nice, easy light ambiance in the evening without having a big bright light on, you can definitely do that in your Ember Overland. So. I know I'm gonna miss some things on the video. I hope not. Uh, right up front here, really cool things built into the, the chassis of this particular trailer. One thing is the electric front leg is a little different. They got a name for it. I forget what it's called, but yeah, power button. There's no more like arm that or leg that comes up with the motor kind of sitting up here. What's cool about that is if you know, you've got pulling it with a truck, you can fold your tailgate down flat without it hitting that motor. How do I know that? I've lived it out many, many times. So to have the distance from the coupler, which has a Versa coupler, which we'll talk about here in a second, um, you've got a lot of distance here to be able to fold that tailgate down flat, uh, which is really, really cool. So, but check out the power leg on this, super beefy. Like look how thick the steel is there, but that folds up really nice and tight up underneath the A-frame of the trailer. So again, if you're going through that area where you know, you're going off the beaten trail, um, less chance of, of running that leg on the ground or dragging it across the ground or whatever. So, cool thing, I don't know if I can show it in this area here, um, but you've got a fully enclosed heated underbelly with the rail tight. I like this. I'm just gonna zoom in on this. If you see around the enclosure of the underbelly, see where those screws are? That's actually going into an extruded piece of aluminum that's pressed up around the entire perimeter of the underbelly. What's nice about that is it helps seal in the enclosure better, preventing heat from escaping. So you actually get true uh, heated tanks on this trailer. Two ways that your tanks are heated on this trailer. One is you have 12 volt uh, heat blankets that are thermostatically controlled. And then your Truma Combi, um, hot water heater furnace combo, which is like, um, unbelievable. Um, actually, you have a, a dedicated heat duct that'll blow heat down into that area as well. So, 55 gallon fresh tank, 35 gallon black, 35 gallon gray. So, again, this is a shorter trailer, so you don't have the benefit of having dual gray tanks like some of the 30 foot travel trailers have in the industry. Um, but they've done a lot of really nice things for uh, water saving uh, properties to you know, help prevent from filling up that gray tank or black tank too, too, well, mainly your gray tank too fast, so. Um, but again, back on the front of the trailer, you've got the really cool steel storage box. Um, tons of flexibility with this. This is where your batteries would go. You know, whether you wanna add lithium, 
uh, or AGM or just a regular lead acid battery. It'll go right in this compartment. We're seeing a lot of people go into lithium and AGM batteries now. And then over on this side, you've got your dual 20 pound propane tanks as well. So nice, nice compartment, easy to access, easy to take out. And then if you want to bring a generator with you, you got a nice stable, real solid place to set a generator up on the front of the trailer, strap it down, hook it to these anchors here, and uh, you can bring that 110 power with you if you so choose. So uh, the Versa coupler right up here, again, off-road trailers, off-road trucks, um, you know, you may need to have a little extra adjustment or clearance depending on if you've got like a six or eight inch lift on your tow vehicle, right? Um, but the other thing is you can unbolt this coupler and add an articulating coupler. Uh, an articulating coupler allows the truck to be at a different angle than the trailer. So again, tying into that off-road experience, if you're going over some pretty good, you know, hills and that sort of thing and your truck is coming in at a different angle it just allows the towability uh, to be a little bit better um, with that articulating where the coupler would literally turn like this um, and give you the ability to get into your favorite camping spot so and they give you the little thing little add-on feature to hold on to your uh, seven-way connector real slick there's the switch for that front leg right up front so the other really cool thing about this trailer friends it has bo body armor. What? Body armor? Yeah, seriously, body armor. Exoskeleton, body armor. So this is a thick gauge alloy that they run from the base of the trailer up, but it doesn't, um, what, what happens is the fiberglass skin, this wall panel drops down behind, all the way down. And then they bring that body armor up alloy, which I really like. You know, if you're, again, going into that area where you know, it's a little tighter path to get in and there's tree branches running down the side of your trailer or you're getting real close to a stump or something like that. Rather than your fiberglass skin taking all the abrasion, um, they've got that thicker alloy to be the first line of protection along the base of your trailer, which I think is super smart. And it looks super cool too. Like the, the branding and the styling of this trailer is absolutely fantastic. Like look at that exoskeleton roof corner cap there like fantastic super thick like there ain't nobody else doing that guys and gals um, the sealant that they use on this trailer as well also um, is not your typical butyl putty that most of the rv manufacturers are still using today which is again causes after it dries out after six seven months a year uh, that's where you get moisture intrusion they use what they call an Eternabond tape sealant. You don't see it because it's always behind the exoskeleton, but these screws, when they go in, there's no shelf life to the Eternabond as well. But when that screw goes in, it grabs the Eternabond and sucks it down into the hole that the screw is going into, sealing in that hole. We've seen it many times over the years where the butyl putty fails, it cracks, it dries out, it shrinks. And these little screws become access points for moisture intrusion as a conduit where the moisture will come down, it'll get behind the corner mold or this uh, belt molding, and it'll follow the screw into the trailer. And depending on what that screw is biting into, if there's wood there, like a wood floor, wood whatever, or you've got Luon paneling in behind uh, your fiberglass panel, that Luon panel then would soak in the moisture, right? The Eternabond that they use in behind, again, does not have a shelf life. It will not dry out and it will stay pliable for many, many, many years, the life that you'll only have the trailer. Um, but that screw will, again, go through that Eternabond, going, sucking into the hole and sealing it that in so it does not become a conduit for moisture intrusion. And again, to reiterate, there, it's all composite materials. You don't have a product in your hull of this trailer that will absorb moisture. It's just not gonna happen, so. Um, now we're getting up to the utility bay of the trailer. Um, you've got a full pass-through storage compartment. Now it's a little smaller, but there's some cool things going underneath the bed that we'll talk about. Uh, you've got your inverter switch. So standard on the Ember Overland, it comes with a 190 watt go power solar panel, very, very high quality. Um, plus it comes with a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter that will basically provide 110 power. It'll convert your 12 volt battery power into 110 power 
and it powers all the plugs inside the trailers. So if you want to run your TV, which, oh, by the way, you don't need to turn your uh, inverter on on this trailer because it's a 12 volt TV. So everything that they've got on this trailer, friends, is designed to be off grid, off road, off use, um, where you're not plugging into shore power. But they do have some flexibility with that as well if you do want to go to a campground and plug in. Battery disconnect switch. Again, little access panel there. They do some, uh, some nice finishing, couple of screws you pull out. That'll give you access to some wiring and such beh back behind there. Um, it comes pre-prepped um, right here for the tire link, but it comes with the kit as well. So you're not having to buy the tire link uh, kit, it comes with it. We just got to put the module on here, put the little sensors on the end of the valve stems, synchronize it to your phone, and you'll be able to monitor TPS, um, tire pressure monitoring um, your tires as you're uh, towing them down the road. So there's your inverter right up there. So very, very clean storage compartment, very well finished off. Uh, you've got a bypass for your hot water heater right here. You're not having to pull the panel off, access a bunch of valves on the back to bypass your hot water heater. It's all right there. Gate valves to drain your tanks all up inside the heated area. Fantastic and not hanging underneath the trailer. There's a lot of things on this trailer that you get in fifth wheels that you don't typically see on travel trailers. This is one of those features. The Nautilus P2.5 uh, water utility panel as well for dry camping, tank fill. Uh, you've got the black tank flush. Um, you've got the sanitize for you know putting the antifreeze in your system. You've got a water pump switch out here. Ember even throws in this little brass 90 degree elbow so you can hook up your fresh water line real easy. And they give you these cool little access ports without it being a plastic cap that will break. You just feed your fresh water line down through here and it seals up around and you can hook up your city water real easy. So hot and cold tap out here as well, which is neat. Um, Truma, look it up online. Uh, the Truma Combi is a combination hot water heater and furnace in one unit. One thing you'll see, you don't have a massive hole cut in the sidewall of your trailer for a furnace and a hot water heater like every other trailer in the industry. This is the impact to the sidewall of your trailer with that system. It actually sits underneath the bed, so they're combining two appliances into one and it is like the BMW of hot water heaters and furnaces in the RV industry. That would be how I would call it. It's German designed, German engineered, um, very thought out. The control module that you would use to operate it is all digital display, very high end. Um, there's some great videos online to watch about it, but it, it works exceptionally well. Um, and the heating capability in this trailer, the duct work that they use isn't your typical dryer duct that you find in every other trailer out there. Even look at your low point drains. They're actually putting a valve on the end. Like little things like this go a long way that where customers are having to add that onto their regular trailers. Ember's putting it on. You just turn that valve and your low point drains drain. Your fresh water drain. Reach down, pull a T handle. It'll drain that 55 gallon fresh water capacity real fast before you're you know hauling hauling heavy water weight back home with you okay but look up underneath there real clean tons of clearance no axle absolutely beautiful all right there's your parking brake there boom sewer hose holder and then the outlet for your uh black and gray so heavy duty scissor jacks now if you look at this scissor jack friends um, it's super long they put a really long scissor jack on it and that's important because depending on where you're camping overland camping adventure you're out on an adventure you want to have stroke in that jack a lot of manufacturers they'll just cheap out put on the shortest jack possible to save money and then you're having to put a bunch of blocks underneath your your scissor jacks whereas this particular uh like it, look how far back that goes uh, you're going to get a lot of stroke out of that scissor jack i know it seems like a small thing but all of these little things add up all right really cool looking back end of the trailer you've got access to storage you know you got a jeep people love showing off that rear tire on the jeep you got that on the ember looks fantastic we have a tire cover we can put on that for you if you don't want that tire to be exposed to the uh to the elements 
um, two inch receiver for a bike rack if you want to put that in. We also have access to storage trays. So if there's some extra gear, firewood or whatever, you can uh, throw in a, uh, an extra storage tray to you know, up to 300 pound uh, capacity to be able to bring some extra stuff with you. And again, look at the back end on this trailer. Beautiful, fantastic branding. Yes, the ladder is completely different. This is the on the go ladder. So on the ember, there's a mount. I'm gonna spin around to this ember here because we're gonna shoot a video on this one too. See that mount right there? They, you get one on the back and the side. So you got flexibility what way you need to put the ladder on. But this ladder completely collapses down. It fits in a box this size. This is the box it came out of right there. So what's cool about that is I've been camping many times where it's like, man, I wish I had a ladder to get up that tree to attach a hammock. Or, you know, let's say there's a tree branch in the way and it's on a dead tree or something. I just want to shave that off just so that it's not rubbing up against my trailer. Having that ladder is, allows you a lot of flexibility. The other thing that's nice with this particular ladder is that you see the extension up beyond the roof of the trailer. I can tell you I've climbed hundreds and hundreds of ladders on the backs of trailers. Most of them are a bit unnerving when you're climbing down, I'll be honest. Um, with this ladder, because it goes up beyond the roof, I feel much safer when I'm actually about to climb down off of the roof of the trailer. So really, really cool system, tons of flexibility. Again, Ember is thinking of the ownership experience in such a big way. And it's evident in the products and how they're putting this trailer together. I can't stress that enough with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, again, outdoor kitchen, that slides out of the way. Door folds up, you got a nice work, uh, workstation. The windows on this trailer, friends, are a European style window. Um, I believe it's an acrylic window, but it's dual pane. We actually did a little test. We did some product training with our sales team today, um, which was kind of the prelude for, for this video um, to get me warmed up. But um, we closed this window. I was talking on the inside of the trailer and the team was standing where I am right now. And I was talking on the inside of the trailer with the door closed and then we closed the window and they could barely hear me talking. Um, and I didn't change my voice pitch or anything. Um, what's really nice about that is when you're camping inside the you know, in the trailer at night, and let's say you're in an area by a highway where there's a little bit more road noise, or let's say you're at a music festival someplace or whatever, um, you're going to be much quiet. It's going to be much quieter in the cabin of this trailer than it would be with most trailers that have a single pane window. Um, the other thing, that acrylic window, from what I'm being told, is it doesn't, it's not, uh, it's, it's a bit of a thermal barrier, not just because it's dual pane, but because it's not going to heat up like the glass would that you would find on every other trailer in the industry. So the trailer is going to help stay a little bit cooler as well. The amount of latches on this trailer or this window really helps seal it in. And then the other cool thing, I'm just going to show you, we've got it folded down here the blinds are built right into the chassis of the window. So this goes all the way up, boom. There's your, your screen. No bugs are getting in, nothing. All right, this comes down, out of the way, super smooth. Look at that, total blackout, but it's got a foil thermal reflective shield on there as well. Every single window has that. Super cool. And you can see that this is a jealousy type louvered window. So, you know, if it's raining, you can leave your window open. You don't have to worry about moisture coming in, but it is fully ventilated. Most of your uh, frame, flush mount frameless windows you find on trailers today, they only open up so much. Um, like I'm talking maybe four or five, six inches at best, um, where this is like full opening, like a slider window, but you get the benefit of having that awning. Very expensive window but tons of functionality um, and being a dual pane window, it's much quieter and far less chances of, you know, frost and, you know, condensation building up on the inside of the trailer, uh, which is nice. We are going to flip this back up just so that when we go inside, you can see how big that window is. And every single window in this trailer opens friends, every single window. They're not cheaping out like some manufacturers where you get maybe two windows that open and the rest are just a flat piece of glass. So um, 
screenshot, automatic closed screen door. We're seeing that more and more common in the industry, but this one's got it. And again, you've, you've got the fold in and out solid step, so which adds to the unbelievable clearance underneath the trailer because that, that, that step folds right up and you can remove that step as well. So if you're in a spot where you don't have the radius to fold that step out, you just pull a couple of pins and the step lifts right out. So again, lend a hand, grab a handle. I haven't even gone inside yet. I hope I haven't lost you. Um, again, tons and tons of value built into this little trailer that will take you anywhere you want to go, any time of the year you want. Um, your combi system and the 12 volt thermostatically controlled heat blankets, um, heat keeping those tanks nice and warm, um, keeping the cabin of the trailer nice and warm. Like you could do in theory, winter camping in this trailer, no problem. If you're a skier, you're a mountain climber, um, you wanna go off the beaten path down the snowy roads. Oh, by the way, if you notice on a lot of the other videos I shoot, I turn the camera off because I wanna have both hands for me to climb up. I'm not worried about it on this trailer, okay? Like the ladder is super solid and because it extends up, like I said, to get onto the roof of this trailer, I feel very safe doing so. So I'm not even turning the camera off. All right. Um, again, the winterization on this trailer, more of an all weather type trailer, which is really, really nice for those people that wanna go extended camping into the colder climates, which is, very often pe what people want to do up here in uh, in Canada. So from the front, one of the things I didn't show you when I was down on the ground, because this is a laminated roof panel, this roof does not have a truss built into it like a conventional built trailer. The way that Ember has designed this is the roof panel pitches from the front to the back, so it pitches down. So any moisture, this trailer before it came in, uh, it came in, we brought it in late yesterday. It had eight inches of snow that fell within 24 hours. It's melted completely off. But you notice down the sidewall of the trailer, we have zero streaking. It's not dirty. Because the snow that was sitting up here, and there was lots of it, it ran from the front to the back off the rear of the trailer. Okay, but one of the things you'll note, because this is a laminated fiberglass skin, block foam insulation, aluminum framed, fully bead welded together, the, Underneath my feet, where I'm stepping, I'm a 200 pound man. It's not flexing whatsoever underneath my feet. Very, very strong. But when you look at this corner molding, this exoskeleton, tying everything in with the Eternabond tape underneath, they do do some added sealant up on the roof. Very, very clean. Very intentional with the way that they finish all of this off on their assembly line, which is nice. There's that 190 watt solar panel right up on your roof. If you do the upgraded solar package, um, it'll come with two more 190 watt panels giving you 575 watts of solar. One will sit here and the other one will go down here. So you can add more solar and then you've got a little extra space up here to add more. So what's really nice about this roof as well, friends, if you're going into that you know, off-road off area and you got tree branches hanging low, if a tree branch runs across your roof, you're not um, at, you know, you don't have to worry about tearing op open your rubber roof membrane uh, like most trailers in the industry. It's, f it's completely abrasion resistant. Uh, the Dometic air conditioner is the highest point on the roof. I think you're like 10 and a half feet approximately on this trailer um, from ground to roof. But um, yeah, low profile Dometic air conditioner. This has the Wineguard Air 360 Plus TV antenna so you can add the gateway device on the inside of the trailer which then you can get a cell phone plan up here in Canada you can hook up Rogers to it you can get a sim card from Rogers and plug it in there and and suck in through your cell phone plan um, you know your, your 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 digital signal to be able to you know watch your favorite shows on your TV so um, they've got the 360 siphon vent vents for your uh, gray and black tank uh, what's really neat about these vents right here is it eliminates the air from pushing the air back down into your trailer and forcing the nasty smells back up inside the cabin of the trailer. Um, holding tanks have positive pressure um, and so it's always wanting to off gas. And if you have a weak seal or your P-trap doesn't have moisture in it, that's when you can get those nasty smells or if you're in a heavy wind and it's just blowing in the right spot, it's forcing that back down inside, the inside those tanks into the cabin of the trailer, this will help uh, reduce the chances of that happening so you don't have those nasty smells built up inside.
Again, roof vent in your bathroom and a skylight above your shower. So absolutely fantastic job here on this product. The exoskeleton, I'm just absolutely thrilled. And then that stargazer skylight, when that's closed down, um, you're laying in bed up front, beautiful clear, blue, clear sky at night, you can see the stars. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to attempt the first time on video to climb down with one hand. Yes, I'm a, I'm a wild man. Here we go. All right, beautiful. I would have never attempted that with a regular RV ladder, ever. Um, and this particular ladder is absolutely solid. So beautiful, tons of flexibility. Love it. pre prep for rear vision camera. Uh, as most of the trailers are, but they also do the pre-prep for the side cams as well. So you've got that built right in. Okay, um, we're going to jump up inside the trailer. So these trailers have been designed by Ashley Bontrager, uh, their president. You'll see on the Ember website, uh, Ashley Nicole. She has done an absolutely phenomenal job with the interior styling of this product. Um, I've got four minutes left on this battery I got on my camera because I'm talking so much. Uh, so I may have to stop it here shortly, but a woman's touch on the inside of the trailer. And I can tell you friends, she has done such an amazing job with the styling, uh, the finishing, the quality of the product. Again, very, very thoughtful design. You've got a jackknife sofa there with storage underneath. This does have a Murphy bed in the front of it. With that panel single latch design, you just flip it, it drops right down, and it is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. Um, but cool things with this sofa, you've got storage underneath the armrests. This flips up and down, beautiful storage capacity. You've got the cup holders, that little bracket right there, there's an arm that'll hook in there with a table that'll sit on top of it. So tons of flexibility. And then you've got the flip down sofa right there and the Murphy bed with most of the Murphy beds you got to like unlatch a couple of pins and it's a bit of a pain this paddle latch boom drop it down and then that mattress is fully got to move this package here this mattress is fully stowed right in this front uh, pocket of the trailer and then there's I'm not going to fold the mattress down because I got the camera in my hand um, but one of the things I really like about this is that you've got a beautiful added counter space workbench area. The other cool thing is when it's folded down in the bed position or here, let's say you're camping in a totally remote area and all of a sudden you hear some commotion on the outside of your trailer, you could literally pop open the stargazer. I'm going to stand up here. Again, this panel I'm standing on fully laminated, just like the sidewall. Very, very strong. I'm a 200 pound man. I can stand and look out the top of the sky, sky gazer, uh, stargazer skylight, see what's going on around the outside of my trailer on the front. Somebody's messing with my tow vehicle without having to exit the trailer. So really, really, um, a, a really nice safety feature, so to speak. Added storage up top. We've got two minutes on the battery. Again, these videos are real, friends. Unedited, unscripted. So really really slick and then this folds up out of the way latches into place and then it's backlit as well so when it's in the down bed position you can flip on this little light switch here and you can see the light back there uh, it looks really cool in the beds in the down position so i'm going to stop the video i'm going to charge up the battery and then we'll be back just one moment all right, friends, we're back in action with a fully charged battery here in this 2022 Ember Overland 190 MBD. And uh, yeah, we just showed you the front end of the trailer, the wonderful workstation that you've got there to be able to stand on, the extra bed, the 60 by 80 residential queen bed. Um, but again, we're going to just show you the floor plan here. It's a bunk model, non-slide. Now, 
these the ember overlands are 95 inches wide so without a slide out it's going to be a little tighter in the cabin uh, than what you would find with let's say a true eight foot wide trailer uh, but still again very very spacious um, very unique uh, different design you've got a dual sofa setup in this particular model um, and what's nice about that is you still have lots of seating very comfortable seating but um, again that bracket for that second table both tables are stored underneath this sofa here there's those arms for the tables to mount to. So you've got two uh, seating positions. But what's neat about this trailer, friends, is the bunk area. Uh, it's a double over double bunk, uh, individual curtains to kind of section off the bunk area. So very private sleeping area. But what's neat about this is this lower section of the bunk folds up, it latches in right up here. I'm not gonna do that to show you because I've got one arm I'm doing it with, but all aluminum framed, laminated, very, very strong. Uh, the plywood that they do use, there is wood on the inside of the trailer and the cabinetry and this sort of thing, but all finishers grade plywood, very, very good quality product. But what's neat about this is let's say, let's say you're hauling a kayak like that. You've got that rear storage door at the back. You have this folded up, latched in. There's a little latch right there. Um, and you could run in like a 13 foot kayak if you wanted to. But what's nice about this is that if you are, let's say you've got a couple of kiddos, um, mom and dad, everybody's heading out camping to go enjoy the outdoors. And you've got this area just packed full of camping gear. And let's say you need to pull off the side of the road and sleep your family. Rather than emptying that storage out and laying your gear outside, you can have the bed up top, the bed in the front. Uh, but then this will fold out into a bed as well. So it kind of takes the place in a pinch of a secondary sleeping area in place of this lower bunk if you've got that packed full of storage. So really cool. Um, I really like the, the idea of the storage. Very, very simple. There's no hardware on the outside. All right. So uh, one less thing to worry about. But all your baggage doors, they flip up. They're on a strut. European style hinge all solid wood cabinet doors. Um, no worry about that piece of wood breaking on you. You've got the strut, fully adjustable, but extra storage. So real smart design. Again, there's that great big Euro window that you have throughout the trailer, including your stargazer skylight. All right. And again, extra counter space. I love the wood accents. It has a very warm, inviting feel to it. You know, your tabletops here are not a, um, an MDF. It's actually a solid stained wood, which is real nice. Uh, the dimmer, dimmer switch here for that front light. USB connection, 110 plug, added storage. Uh, and then your extra little bit of counter space there. So single basin sink, under counter mount sink. So... We've seen it, you can get a rubber or a, a, a plastic container that will fit perfectly inside this uh, bowl. So if you're you know, running out of gray space, you can do your dishes and then just dump your uh, gray water outside. You know, use a biodegradable, environmentally friendly dish soap or what have you and uh, save that gray tank. But you'll notice just how clean their storage is. You can isolate the, the lines going to the, uh, to the faucet if you need to change that out all plywood full extension drawers salt so, you know really nice hardware solid wood it's not a veneer wrap around an mdf all your cabinetry is fully screwed together lumber core solid wood so um, one thing i wanted to show you was underneath this sofa you've got this little extra storage spot so underneath this box right here that's where the truma combi sits very, very compact design. Um, we'll do some other videos on that, but um, I'd have to pull the screws out to access that. But super, like I said, it's like the BMW of, of uh, heating systems for your furnace and hot water heater in this trailer. Exceptional quality, very, very efficient and real specs on it. But added storage, if you went with the added inverter and solar package, the, the lithium Battleborn batteries with your added inverter, 3000 watt inverter would get put right in underneath in this section here. But this is added storage for you. Uh, by not having it so um, right up top here you've got the ember link or ember connect i forget what they're calling it uh, but bluetooth you can connect to the trailer if it's got a slide out you can operate it the lighting um, the awning those sorts of things slide out if you got the slide inside the trailer 
course, here's the dimmer switch for your outdoor light and the uh, remote for your Truma combi system, fully digital, like I mentioned. So real, real high end, real high tech. There's added storage there, dual burner range. Again, this is a 12 volt Dometic refrigerator. So um, super efficient. It'll cool to proper temp in like, I'm here in like an hour and a half. It's got a uh, eco mode for off-grid camping. So once it's at proper temperature, um, it'll maintain the temp inside the, uh, the trailer more efficiently or inside the fridge more efficiently, but real clean, nice and deep. You know, there's no more vents on the outside of your trailer uh, for the venting with these 12 volt fridges. They're far more efficient. Um, and with the solar on, side, on, on board um, and a good set of batteries, you'll be able to do a real, real bit of solid dry camping uh, with the 12 volt fridge there extra storage up top even your hood fan vents outside it's not venting back inside the trailer again you've got your bluetooth enabled uh, charge controller 30 amp charge controller for your 190 watt solar panel so lots going on ac system just drop this storage down i like the fact they've got individual curtains for the bunks which is nice you know, even if you don't have kids, bunk beds are a fantastic place for storage, you know. Uh, bathroom, fully framed out uh, door. You know, there's not they're not leaving a big gap in the top. Everything's getting finished off real nice. Um, the, she, Ashley did a phenomenal job with the styling of the bathroom. Very, very functional. Again, a woman's touch. We often hear that, hey, I wish women would in, uh, design the insides of trailers. Well, here you go, ladies. You've got one. So hook on the wall there for your, uh, you know, towels and house coats. I'm standing right in the shower, but if you look, look at the extra storage, the shelving, they mount the toilet paper holder for you, but look at the extra storage in and around your sink. You actually have a sink that you can wash your face in added storage underneath. All right. But even the vanity is much larger than what you would typically get in a trailer. And I just want to point out, um, you know, that, that mirror pulls away from the box that it's mounted to, but they backlight it. And it's not just stuck on, like they're actually finishing it off and putting that light into a track. So it sits on there perfectly. It's not blinding you in the eye, but this is a far deeper vanity than what you would ever typically see in a travel trailer. So very very smart design hats off to ashley for what she's done with the interior of the trailers again the double vent, uh double blinds totally louvered window and you've got the max fan there as well the shower miser so the way that this is designed is to help you save on hot water so you activate your true macombi uh, eco plus hot water heater uh, you get the water flowing, but rather than burning through water to get it to proper temp where it's just draining into your gray tank, the shower miser, there's a little valve that you turn and it diverts the water back through. And this blue pipe will actually turn white or uh, white or clear, letting you know that it's at proper temperature. And then you can hop in and do your, do your quick five minute shower. Um, and you've just saved yourself a bunch of gray, gray tank space. So real smart. And again, you've got the beautiful, beautiful shower curtain. That'll roll right up, squeegee the moisture off. It runs back down into the shower pan, mold and mildew resistant, beautiful setup. And then again, the skylight above. So lots and lots of headroom there. Porcelain foot flush toilet, uh, which is good. This panel actually seals in underneath the uh, bathroom sink there. We've got it off for winterization purposes, but they even mount the towel, towel ring for you. They're not leaving that out. And then, yeah, you've got your, your amber light there in your, uh, in your bathroom for at night, little night light for people getting up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. So very well thought out, very simple, uh, absolutely beautiful setup in this Overland, Ember Overland 190. So Again, this is a long video. We're pushing an hour. I wanted to keep it under an hour. I hope I've achieved that. Thank you for hanging in there with me. This is the very first one we've done. Again, unscripted, unedited, real, raw, and you're looking at the all new Ember Overland uh, here at Woody's RV World in Leduc and Western Canada. We've got a beautiful service network. Uh, we're going to be representing this product hard. We've got it going to be displayed here in an upcoming RV show as our launch for the brand. 
and uh, we're happy to have you come by and and uh, have a look at this all new exciting product. So give us a shout, 780-986-1234. And uh, we're gonna jump to another video here. Take care, happy camping, be safe out there and uh, have fun. Bye for now.